Hey guys, this is X, JCSX, and I was just gonna make a event editing tutorial. Um, you know, Poco Loco recommended me making one after I written, I wrote my tutorial, so I thought, yeah, why not? So first of all, if you're gonna want to be doing any event editing, you're gonna need two things. First of all, you're gonna need WinHex. WinHex is your um, hex editor, which I'm gonna get to in a minute. It pretty, it's pretty much what you're gonna be using 90% of the time to hex edit. Now the second thing, and it's just as important, it's called the event script. I'm gonna provide a link on my post to, to directly download it. It's pretty much all the events listed in the game with comments right, right next to the hex. Like, okay, this is the address to the event. This is the hex right here, and this is the comment that tells what that event is. Now, if you don't know anything I just said, don't worry about it. I'm gonna explain all that shortly, and you'll be getting on to your way to making great custom events. Okay. Now. First of all, we're gonna start off, and we're gonna do some simple, you know, practices. We're gonna make, we're gonna load some different maps in the beginning of the game, where Narshe comes, and then we're gonna load some other stuff. You know, we'll, we'll do all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, guys. Okay, first of all, load up Windhex if you haven't already done so. Okay, first time you see it, it's gonna be all black. You gotta load a ROM. Click File, Open File for Editing. I'm gonna go ahead and browse to my game, and my clean ROM. It should be right here. This is it. Okay. This is my clean ROM, and yeah, anyways, what you're going to see when you first boot it up is going to be like um, a bunch of stuff right here. Now, this right here, this whole entire column, is what is called the address. It's pretty much everything that's pointed to the game. You know, the game reads this, it, it reads an address, and then it executes commands that's in the hex. If you don't have an address, then I don't think you have a game, anyways. This right here in the middle is the meat of the game. This is the hex, or hexadecimal for long. Okay, uh, I did that backwards, whatever. This is everything that's going to be, like, what we're going to be editing. It's everything. You know, it, it stores everything in the game, everything. Don't know how else to say it. This right here to the right is the string. The string is a hidden, well, not really hidden, it's a parameter that runs in the background for the hex. And it's not really going to be used for any of the editing that I can think of. For the most part, it's going to be dot, 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 dot. But for some other instances, it's going to be all kind of gibberish right here. And that's because you don't have a table file uploaded, and we're not going to be getting to any of that. You know, it's not anything to do with event editing for the most part. Okay. Now, we're going to try finding this, the event that the game loads where, you know how the text in the beginning of the game appears, long ago, the war of the magi, and then it shows that cliff scene, and, it, and the screen goes down? Well, basically, we're going to change that map. We're going to load a different map. Now, to find any event in the game, first of all, you're going to want to have this text document, of course, and then to find it in the document, because it's not really in any specific order. Like, this is random stuff right here. I don't really don't know what this is, really. But to find any event in the game, the best method is to search for the text that's nearest to it. So, you're going to want to do Control F, and the text that's nearest to this event, or this map loading sequence, is long ago. So, in your, whatever you call it, search box, type in long, oops, sorry, I have a, have a caps habit. Long ago. Now, it's probably going to take about six searches of it to find this, but anyways, go down. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, I'm a broken record, but that's not it either. Okay, this is it. I've done this so many times, but anyway. You're going to want to keep a sharp eye out whenever you're searching for the events, but this is it right here. It's saying, load map 17, Narsha. This is like a comment. Like, everything right here, it pretty much is always the comment. The comment is pretty much necessary. I mean, if they just gave you a bunch of the addresses in the hex, you wouldn't know what you were doing, where you were at, anything. The comments is saying, in this case, load map 17, water balance, display text, all that, long ago, the war of the magic. And that's pretty much it. And then it's saying place party and all that. We'll get to that later. Now, it's saying right here that this is the address to this event. So we're going to go ahead and find it in the hex editor. So, if you, oh, that's right, I almost forgot something. Whenever you're searching for an event, in any event, pretty much in the hex editor, you're going to want to display the game as SNES Hiram. To do that, go to Options, Option, Display Offset as SNES Hiram. Then there's a second, uh, there's a second sequence step that people forget a lot of times. Do Control G, which is to go to Offset, which we're not doing that yet, and click this little radio button that says SNES Hiram, and then click Done, and we're going to bring it back up. Okay. Now, we're, I don't know if I already copied this or not, but anyways, you're going to want to select it, and you're going to want to do this thing. You're not, you're not going to want to go over to this C, because we already have it set to the bank of C. So you're going to want to copy this with Control C, that's why I did that, and then you're going to want to paste it with Control V. You could do mouse, whatever. Now you're going to want to go over here and make sure you don't have two Cs, and omit that little slash mark. Okay, now you should have five digits, okay? And then click Enter. Now, it sends you to this part of the game right here. Okay. Now, for all you observant people out there, you probably know, you, you, you may have noticed that 
this is not what we're looking for. I mean, you might be new to this, but any guy can figure this out. That we did not get sent to where we were looking for. It sent us to. It says that it's going to send this address to 6B, but it sent us to 31. Now, the reason for that being, and thank you for the Jenny and Tonic for telling me, and I hope I got your name right. But he told me that, which make it makes sense now. I'm thinking about it, but the guys who made this document. We're using unheadered ROMs. Now, I really don't know the details of a header, but I know that they started using them. They really don't serve any purpose. But I do know that in the beginning, like in the beginning of the ROM, it, they fill it with 200 bytes. So there's 200 bytes in the beginning of the game, or 200 extra bytes, I guess you could say. So if you have a headered ROM, which most people that are doing any hacking on Final Fantasy, they do have a headered ROM. You know, if you, you're going to need a headered ROM for FF3 USME and all those other programs out there. So if you don't have a header ROM, go get a header ROM, header ROM, and I'll explain what you gotta do. Okay, so we copied this address and we went here, and it did not give us 6B. What do you do next? Well, you could do like there's three methods really. You could subtract this big long hex byte that I can't remember, and or you could add 200 bytes to the address, or you could do it my way, which I think is pretty cool. But what I do is I go to the event, and it sends me to the wrong spot every time. You know, you get used to it, and you're gonna want to go up twice with the arrow keys. You're going to want to go up two lines. A line is like a row. Like, that's a row, that's another row. Okay, go up twice. One, two, and then stop. Now, do Control H. Control H is hex search box. It's going to bring up a hex search box, and it's going to let you input hex. Okay, we're trying. We're looking for this command right here, and we also want to ensure that we get to that command perfectly. So to, to do that, I recommend you always fill this hex search box with at least two bytes. Now, if you don't know this, a byte is two digits. Like two, eight bits makes a byte. Two of these is a byte. Okay, that's the only way I can put it. If you're not really good at this stuff, so you're gonna want to put six B, and then the map that loads after that. Six B is the command to load a map. I should have mentioned that. Sorry, guys. But seventeen is the map uh, ID number. To put 6B load map 17. That's the ID number, Narsha. That's pretty. That's already good enough, probably, for the game to find it. But if you're doing really hardcore events, you're gonna want to put at least like four or five. I don't know. I mean, go as far as you can. You know, it, it's always good to be sure. But click enter, and it'll zap you right there. This right here is the event. This is saying load map 17, and all this right here is pretty much saying where to place the camera and all that at. Which we're not gonna really get into that. Into that. But we're going to replace the 17 right here with any map of your choice. Now, I've already, I don't know, I just, I like doing the castle for this map anyways. So go ahead and, like, replace the 17 right here. Make sure you don't replace anything else, like, after the 6B. So replace the 17 with D2. D2 is Doma Castle's ID, and, you know, it's going to load that map. So that's what it's reading as. Sit load map D2. Now click Control S, which is a shortcut key to save your ROM. ROM file was saved successfully. And then we're gonna load up load up your favorite emulator, you know. We're gonna test it out to see if it really changed. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. I already went ahead and made some Z SNES, Z -SNES saves. Okay, wait. Sorry, I didn't make a save, I forgot. Okay. We're gonna see if any changes have been have been made to the beginning sequence where the map loads. Here we go. Title screen, yada 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 yada. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make a Z SNES save. Okay. Now here we go. And as you can see, the map has changed. If your map has not changed, I, I really don't know what to say, man. I mean, you probably did it wrong, but just repeat those steps and make sure you haven't damaged your ROM, and I assure you it works. Anyways, now that was pretty cool and all, you know? I mean, we changed the map. That's a pretty big difference. I mean, nothing nobody's going to remember, but that's still cool to me. That's still very cool. Now, how about we change the music? Now, I've already figured out this sequence in the game where you change the music. There's two sequences where music comes in. Now, right here is F0. F0 is the command to play a song. You need to learn that song, that, that command, because it's going to be used widely in the game, especially if you're going to be doing, doing any, like, change of music scenes or anything. So, it's going to say play song 00, which is silence, which is something I'm not good at. But anyways, that's not what we're going to be changing, because I've learned that that song only lasts for about, like, 20 seconds in the beginning sequence. Not all songs are going to be like that. Probably, like, 80% of the songs will not be like that. But anyways, scroll down until you see... Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Um, it's somewhere. Uh, I am sorry, guys. Here, uh, ah, here we go, here we go. I am so sorry, guys. I am not really good at this video stuff, but right here. It's saying, play song 3, opening theme, high bit clear. Okay. We're gonna change that song, okay? Go over here, and, like, control-c it, and go right here, and then paste that. 
Okay, I gotta pause the video, guys, because I'm running out of time on my video. But this probably won't be anything for y'all. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry, I had to pause the video. You know, just kind of get my uh, mindset back. Okay, anyways, um, we were, we we were trying to change the song that loads in the beginning sequence. Anyways, you're gonna want to pull up a hex search, a uh, go-to offset box, okay? And the song that plays right here is this address right here. You're gonna want to copy that, not the second C, just one C. Copy that, omit the little slash thing. It's gonna send you to the wrong address, of course. In this case, it sent us to the um, byte DC, which is completely wrong. Okay, go up twice and then do Control H. That was it. go up twice and Control H. Anyways, type in F0 because that's the play song command, and then it's saying play song three. Now this is one of the many, the small um, parts of the game where this event script got the songs right. Most of the songs that it says are actually wrong. It's saying like when and one of the sequences is coming on later, it's gonna say play song wind 57, and the actual hex byte for that song is 39. So, but this one is actually right. This time it's saying play song three, and the ID for that song is song three. So now, for people who don't know how to do it, if you want to type in a one-digit song, you type in zero three. If that was like play song seven, you'd be zero seven. Got it? Good. Okay. Type in F zero zero three. Enter. Bam. You're sitting there instantly. Now, if you get sent to anything that's like B F F F D D D C one one, well, not C one one. I don't know C one one. Anything like that, it's not, you're on the wrong address, bud, I'm sorry, you probably didn't do something right, you probably got the hex bytes or something wrong, okay. Now, anyways, it sent us to F003. Now, like I say, be sure you know what you're doing, you know, don't put a blip in the matrix, which, you know, it's pretty easy to do. Anyways, it's saying, play song 03. Y'all want to change that song? I think I do, I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool song, but it's kind of, I don't know, kind of downcast. I like the song number 27, which is like a French name, I really don't know how to say it, Aria something. So, I, I kind of did for my game, too, so you can copy me, if you really want to. But, I put in 27. So, play song 27, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Control S, save. Now, let's load up the game, and if all goes right, it should load that map and play a different song. Okay, here we go, open save. And by the way, you're always going to want to have a save, a ZSNES save close to the event that you're trying to edit, okay? Okay, here we go. Here we go. The song should be different. And as you can see, the song is different. It's that um kind of statish song. It's pretty cool. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm not gonna sing to you guys. Sorry. And that has changed. It's pretty cool to me. Okay, we have covered loading maps, finding offsets in the event script, and changing songs. Pretty simple commands to me. Sorry, guys, I gotta adjust my mic. Okay, sorry, I had to adjust my mic. Here we go. Now, we're going to go into something that's a little bit more sophisticated, I guess you could say. We're going to change the camera. Okay, it's, it's really action cues, okay? Action cues range from characters moving to certain tiles, or the camera moving to certain tiles. As you can see already right here, it's saying... Okay, I'm not going to go ahead, sorry. An action cue is basically a command that sends a, it, it sends a command to a character's ID... And then initiates commands that make him do something like moving, doing a graphical action, jumping, anything. You know, it ranges from like even setting your, their position to a to a place on the map. You know, it's, it's pretty much a lot of things. Now, what we're gonna do is pretty simple right now. We're gonna change the care the um the camera. We're gonna make the camera move a little bit different, okay? So we're gonna make it load map, you know, in our shape, and then we're gonna change the camera. We're gonna like make it go left and then up and all that. Okay, it's it technically right now it's going up eight tiles, up eight tiles, and up two tiles. We're gonna change that up and make it do something else. Now to find an action cube, this is the best way I found. Now I I'm gonna show you this uh, little guessing game you gotta do with action cues that I found out. It's kind of different. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it happens, but anyways, click Control C, copy it. Don't get two Z's, two C's, sorry, and then omit the little thing. Go up twice and then do 30. Since this is the action ID for the camera, it's saying begin action cue for character 30, which is the camera. And then right here, this is pretty much the juice of what you're looking for in your action cue. It's saying five bytes long. So after that, you either type 05, so that means 30, begin action cue for character 30, five bytes long. Or for some weird reason, and I still don't know how you can tell, but sometimes the action cues, um, like how many, how much it stores, has an eight before it. Like it'll be 85 in this case. Like it could be 85, or if 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 it was like seven bytes long, it could be 87. Or if it was two bytes long, it could be 82. 
Oops, sorry guys. I don't really know why the game does that sometimes. Like, I've even seen in mid-game, it like just changes from 0-5 to like 85. I don't know why it does that. I can't find any reason to beat the randomness with that. So if you don't get to the right address, just try to go to that offset again and then try putting a different, like 80 or just 0. Now we're going to try 85 because I think this is going to be an 85. And as you can see, I think I was actually right. I'm going to do a check just to make sure. Okay, 30, 05. Yep, I was right the first time. This right here is wrong. You're never going to get to an, um, whatchamacallit, an event, I think that's in CCBA and all that. That's that's not right. So in this case, it actually was an 85, okay? So 30, 85. Bam, we're sitting there instantly. Okay, now this is how you read an action cue. Action cue is very, very good to learn. It's saying begin action cue for character 30, which is always going to be the camera, which pretty much every action cue ID is always going to be that. But anyways, action cue 30, it's going to be eight. It's going to be five bytes long. Eight, forget about the eight. I don't know why they do that. Now right here it says C4. C4 is one of the C commands that I call. I don't really know why, but this is what I call. Them, okay, there's C1, there's C2, there's C3, and there's C4. And no, not the crappy weapon in Call of Duty. This is like C4 is saying set vehicle speed to faster. Now they should say fastest. I don't really know why they say that, but anyways. C3 is set vehicle's entity speed to sit to fast, and then C2 is set set. I'm sorry, guys. I'm having tongue twisters here. Is set vehicle entity speed to normal, and C1 is set it to slow. This is pretty much how you make your characters move slowly or fast, or in this case, the camera moves slow or fast. So I mean, I'm not really sure why it's going faster in this case, because it looks like it's going pretty slow to me. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and change 9C, 9C, and 84. 9C is saying move up 8 tiles. So we're not going to really move up 8 tiles. We want it to go like left. So to make it go left, I already know the command to make it go left, but in case you don't, this is, I, this is what I recommend doing. I would recommend you open up two instances, instances, I, I'm failing guys, of the event script. Like I have two open, it's a big text file, it's going to take a while to load. And once it loads, this is how I find my commands. Now we're trying to make the, um, camera move like left two tiles which is what I want. I know it's I know the command for that already which is 87 but this is how you should look for a command. Type in move um three no two tiles left. Okay I think I typed that in wrong. Yeah two tiles left. Don't type move. Okay guys I am failing. Oh yeah sorry. Left two tiles. There we go. Left two tiles. Bam right here. This is saying this. The comment is saying move vehicle slash entity left two tiles, and this is the hex ID for that. 87. 87 is move left two tiles. Let's go ahead and change that to 87. Now let, while we're at it, let's change the next one to 87, and then let's make it go up a few tiles. Let's type up. Uh, six tiles. I don't know. Be random with it. Up six tiles is 94. So type 94. And this is where we return our limit. It's right here. The FF command is saying end Q. You don't want to go over that unless you really know what you're doing. It can be pretty tricky if you go over the FF or something like that. You know, I've done it before. I'll come out of it, but it's pretty tough stuff. Okay. Anyways, you're gonna want to save, and now you're gonna want to load up your game. Now, oh, sorry guys. Now there might not there might not be a difference. Let me see real quick. I'm gonna pause the video for you guys. Like I said, I'm not using a very good recorder program, but anyways. Okay, guys, I am, like, beyond sorry. I messed up big time. Uh, I don't really know why I didn't realize that. I was thinking this, like, this is where we were in the event script. I was thinking this was saying go down eight tiles. I made a big mistake, but like I said, I'm using a crappy um, video recording program, so I don't really want to start over. I hope you can forgive me. Anyways, this video is not doing very good in the first place, but right here. This is what we were actually looking for. Begin action queue for character 30, four bytes long. If this is where the um, map loads and it goes down eight tiles and then it goes down two more tiles and all that. You're going to want to search for this offset right here. I'm not the one I had. I actually patched up all that that I messed up right there. Go to this offset and, you know, click hitter, go up twice, 30, and I'm pretty sure it's 85, 84 like we did last time. Uh, I think this is it. Me, yeah, this is it. No way. Let me check it out. No, this is not it actually, guys. Like I said, they changed up with those. those those are bite things. And bam, this is it right here. 30, 04, 9E, 9E, 86, FF. Okay. This is right here is what we're looking for. And you can always check by doing this. Begin action queue for character 30. Begin action queue for character 30. Four bytes long. 
04, 4 bytes long, like I said guys, it's not 84 anymore, it's 04, I really don't know why they change that sometimes, if anybody knows, please leave a comment, because it'd be nice to know, <laughs> okay, 9E, 9E right here, saying move down 8 tiles, and 9E again, down 8 tiles, and 86, move down 2 tiles, so that's pretty much it, and then FF and Q, so we're going to change it, we're going to make them go like left 2 tiles, and down a few tiles, and right, okay, I don't really know, we're going to be random. Let's find the com now, like I said, we're gonna find the this is how I do finding commands. I open two instances of the event script and go type in whatever I want. Write two tiles. And this thing in this case it's eighty five, which is always gonna be eighty five, not this case. Eighty five. Now we're gonna make him go write a few more tiles. Write seven tiles. I'm surprised that one actually existed, but okay. Ninety nine. And then we're gonna go down a few tiles. Down six tiles. And that one is 96. If you want to know, I can tell you, you can just go right here, 96. Type in 96. And we've reached our limit because we've already found the FF, so Control S, save ROM. Now we're going to load up ZSNES or whatever emulator. I really recommend y'all use ZSNES. Though. And we're going to load it up and see if there's a difference. There should be different music, different map, and the camera should do different areas. Let's see if it works. Voila! The map is moving. Well, we're moving, which. I don't know. Let's move. Yeah, try the camera's moving. I'm an idiot. And there we go. The map has changed. Now, while it may not seem like it, you've actually done your first action cue editing. That was really all there is to action cue editing. That was the map in this case. So it was a little bit easier. We're gonna get on to how you can make characters move. Now I need to pause the video and see. See, this video is long. I'm probably gonna make two videos. Yeah, I don't know. Let, let me see, guys. I'm gonna pause it real quick. Okay, guys, I decided. Um, this video is like 20 minutes long. I don't want to like bog any of my servers down. So I hope I can upload it. So I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna make a part two. So this is part one, and I can guarantee you part two is not gonna be as crappy. Anyways, here we go.